Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So after the rumors of Luxor's demolition have come and gone, now the question is, was Luxor worth keeping around? Well, let's get back in there and find out. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, here we are at the world's largest atrium, the Luxor Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas. So the hotel itself is heavily themed. The aesthetic is dark and it's huge. The casino itself is the better part of 120,000 square feet and has plenty of gaming space to enjoy. The limits are about par for the course for the strip, but you're not going to find cheap blackjack or craps very often down there. Slots are solid and you can usually find a quick hits or buffalo that you can win on if that's your cup of tea. So the casino is pretty average. The rest of the hotel has all the standard features. A buffet, presently closed, small spa space, a steakhouse, a couple restaurants, and shops, and well, that's about it. A lot of the unique features that used to make Luxor special have long since closed. But there are still a few neat things about it. The Sphinx still stands tall at the entrance, the sky beam still burns bright, and the hotel hosts the Hyper Esports Arena. The mezzanine level upstairs features several Vegas shows and exhibits, like the Blue Man Group, Fantasy, and the Titanic exhibit. So there's still plenty to do on property. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, and here we go for the Pyramid Room Tour. The rooms have recently been renovated, though my visit placed me in an unrenovated Pyramid Corner Room. The room is comfortable, but certainly showed its age in that its themed decorations looked like they'd actually been there since 1993. But even post-renovation, the prices are fairly low and the comps are plentiful if you're an MGM player, or if you play My Vegas Slots, that is. So the value is there, even if the aesthetics are not. With the renovations, you can almost expect something akin to Bellagio's basic rooms, since that seems to be the source of all the new mattresses and decor, so make of that what you will. The amenities are definitely a step up. While the spa is pretty par for the course for a strip hotel, it beats out all but the best locals hotels and even most downtown properties. The pool area itself is wide open, adequately staffed, and honestly, looks really cool. I imagine this is what King Tut's pool would probably look like. Well, assuming he had a few hundred million dollars to build one with, and 1990s technology to go with that, of course. And the variety of restaurants fits pretty much any palette. There's the standard South MGM Property Food Court, a feature shared with Excalibur, Mandalay Bay, and MGM Grand. But then you get the basic cafes, and of course the obligatory steakhouse. And for a strip steakhouse, Tender is actually pretty good, for a reasonable rate. My favorite parts of the Luxor are this, it's very affordable, it's close to other MGM properties, and it really just looks super cool. It's got a bit of shopping that I admittedly don't care much about, but having it available is nice. It's on strip, and I'm rarely, if ever, concerned about safety there. And while it's family friendly, there aren't that many families or children around during the week. So for those of you looking for something like that on a property, keep Luxor in mind. The staff is friendly and responsive, though I certainly get the idea that they may be a bit overworked. But that's more of a dig on the hotel itself and its parent company, and certainly not the fine men and women working there, doing their best to make sure our vacation experience is excellent. And finally, two of my favorite Vegas shows of all time, Blue Man Group and Fantasy, are hosted there. Now for the bad news. Aside from the regular problems with a strip hotel, being high resort fees, poor drink service, and bad odds, the Luxor seems to suffer from a few different things. One is that it's not themed very well. MGM has really tried to get away from the ancient Egyptian theming, and I think it's a huge mistake that they did that. The tower rooms work just fine, but the pyramid rooms are just designed with the theming in mind. So it feels like MGM has sort of half-assed the transition. And the way I figured it, if you're gonna do something, do it full-assed, or don't do it at all. Another issue I have with it is the interior. Even for a casino, this place is dark. Without the wild ancient Egyptian space theming, there is a lot of wasted space in the hotel interior, and that seems to translate to really bad lighting. So I don't enjoy being in Luxor Casino for long periods of time. The location is trash in that it's the second southmost hotel on the Vegas Strip, so unless you like walking to Excalibur and Mandalay Bay, you better get ready to use a lot of Uber and Lyfts if you want to go anywhere else. The only benefit I can see to that is if you're a Raiders fan and you want to go to the game. 
But the worst bit of Luxor is certainly the layout. The idea of being a pyramid is really cool, and the unique design choices will always keep Luxor on the forefront of my mind when it comes down to budget-friendly Vegas hotels. But in practice, even when you haven't had a long night of partying, getting back and forth from your room even down to the casino floor is a bit of a slog. Ultimately, the Luxor isn't a bad place to stay if you're on a budget and prefer MGM properties. The price difference isn't too bad between this and the Excalibur, so it at least keeps you out of there. And objectively, that's enough for a 3 out of- Whoa, hang on, is that a black cat? <laughs> There was a black cat roaming around the ancient Egyptian in space themed pyramid casino. Oh man, you can't make this up, only in Vegas. You know what, the hotel itself gets a 3 out of 5, but I'm rating my stay at a 4 out of 5 just for that. Great work, Luxor. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. How was your last day at the Luxor? Would you recommend it to your fellow Ace of Vegas viewers? Or are they better off in a different downtown or strip property? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments section down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys.